Right, so I've been sent this video and told to react. Let's have a little look. It's a brave estate agent who agrees to confess his sins. Confession to estate agent. agents are born blagger. If you've got more rabbit than Sainsbury's and more fun from Brighton, you're a winner. Um, the property market isn't hard to pick up whatsoever. It's um, easy a monkey could do it. So what are the tips and tricks your estate agent doesn't tell you about? Oh my lord. It's like going back 40 years. Um, should we continue to watch this? You've just got to be a blagger, right? You know. We need to play with language. We're going to try our best to pull the ball over your eyes. From my point of view, if I walk into a, a shithole, um, I'm going cold. to tell the clients or the candidates that there's room for improvement. Um, I'm going to use language that's going to make whatever it is I'm selling more desirable. Wow, he should be selling courses, this guy. What an, what an absolute legend he is. Amazingly, really, when you think about it, and the principle of this, is, which makes it so wildly uh, laughable, is the fact that none of that shit works. But they still do it. But Not so much now, the estate this is agent old. gets caught out, as happened in the infamous case of the vanishing cul-de-sac. What? The orchard a house in a quiet cul-de-sac in the heart of Western Supermare. At least, that's how it was advertised by Darlow Estates. Well, this is certainly not a cul-de-sac, is it? Heck by heck. <laughs> it's like a racetrack for the middle of the night, middle of the afternoon. And it's, it's like, like a racetrack. On the map it's shown as a, a through route, so I can't really see that it's a cul-de-sac. They're slight. Now this is going back years, you can tell that by the age of the cars. What he's saying is it was a mistake. And to be fair, these days you get proofread details. So most vendors would probably want to see the information so they can approve it as well. And actually there's no real advantages to misleading somebody in the type, in the text, because um, when they arrive and the, those things aren't there, as you probably know, you've lost trust. So again, you, you're playing from the, the, you're going to be basically on the back foot. And that's not what you want to be if you're going to build trust and help someone to get to their outcome. That's a lovely shot. But the problem is that the public have got a memory like an elephant for photos they've already seen. If the house hasn't sold after a couple of weeks, I need a different shot. Change the angle by just 20 degrees and they'll think they're looking at a completely different property. Now, what he's saying is about the fact that you need to refresh photos. And this is going back into the bloody 80s or I would imagine the early 90s. But it's quite true, actually. You should be changing your photographs, your angles, your shots. Why? Because you're marketing something. And if it looks the same and it becomes samey when people are searching and looking, then it's not going to stand out. And actually, some angles just represent the house in a much better way. So it makes complete sense Mike to Harris do that. is a property photographer and one of the best in the business. That should do the trick. Get a few punters through the door. Yes, the room has changed from this into this. I mean, the picture the does look much better. Is to get rid of the rubbish. Which is what your job is, is to make the property but look a much better much on camera, so you get the inquiries. There was a house that we had on the market that wasn't selling that was next to a petrol station. And the manager asked, us, asked me, trainee at the time, go out and take a picture of this property, but exclude the petrol station. See, I'm going to stop it there. You get where this is going, right? And, 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 and actually, I think that there's massive advantages to estate agents showing the freaking petrol station in the, in the photograph, talking about the fact that it's close to a petrol station. Because, yes, nine buyers might go, I'm not going to live there. But someone won't give a crap. And the fact that it's probably worth slightly less being next to the petrol station than in a cul-de-sac is going to be the difference between them living in a house like that or not. And for me, what these guys are doing are creating what I consider to be problems. They're creating their own problems. They're creating their own problems because they're making it look really nice in the photograph, but when someone walks through the door, it looks shit. So if it looks shit when people walk through the door because it's actually gone back to normal, you're going to throw a negative impression out there. So think about this, guys. If you're watching this and you're uh, an estate agent that likes to omit things, you can't do that. You have to make sure you're transparent. And actually, transparency should bring you the right level of interest and the right buyer through the door. But 
it's still a good watch. I'm going to continue to watch this. I'll see you on the next video.